Well, welcome to this product uh, demonstration video where we're just going to show you the uh, new Keto Scan Mini real time fat burning monitor for breath ketones. This is being launched onto the market in the UK by Alco Digital uh, for fourth quarter 2019. So, this should be available to purchase online over the next couple of months for Christmas. It is going to be priced in the UK market, we are told, at around £179. So uh, this comes in at the same sort of price as the Ketonix uh, Breath Ketone Meter. So we're interested to see how it performs and what you actually get. Very nicely boxed as you can see, nice presentation case. And inside, uh, this one has been opened and set up before, so this would normally come initially in a foil sealed wrapper. But you get a uh, pouch for storing the uh, meter in. And if we just open that and show you the actual meter itself. I'll just take the box slightly backwards, I can show you that. This is the keto meter, it comes with a clear Perspex case. Uh, the display is on the front here. This is a uh, rechargeable unit. I think these buttons here are just casement, they're not for, for charging ports. The battery is internal and not replaceable, but it is charged through a USB power supply. And this does come with software and uh, app support for you to actually load this both on Android and iPhone, I think. For it to Bluetooth its results across to a, a, an app, or you can just use it standalone, and we're going to show you that. The other things that you get in this box, if I just open this up, you do get a uh, quick uh, startup guide and a Centec user manual, shown here. And you get some professional mouthpieces, which is the same as the uh, Alco Digital Breathalyzer mouthpieces. And this is the cable which is supplied with the unit. This is just a, a charger unit, it's not a download unit, I understand. This is just for charging the battery on the unit. So, let's run you through operation of this unit. Just get one of the mouthpieces ready to show you how it works. Did have one here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, right, so if I just move these governs out of the way. Perspect lids comes off and the port slides sideways which just extends the tube. You're supposed to use this only with mouthpieces so the mouthpiece fits firmly into the end here. And then to start it the on off button is on the side here and if we just press this unit you'll see powers up and the display which is just a digital display starts counting down. Now when you first use this, if you've not Bluetoothed it or connected to it, the first blow you give will just give an OK and that is a, a test of the sensors we understand. So basically if you get the OK when you do the first blow, you are then ready to do your first reading. So what I'm going to do is take this and just trigger it. You'd have heard that being triggered, it gives you clear audible indications and then as it proceeds you get a tick symbol across the front and then OK to indicate that the sensor is good to use. So now to actually get a first ketone reading, meet, uh, reading what you then need to do is wait for it to power down and repress the on button and then repeat that procedure. You'll see it's automatically gone into a countdown now so I'm hoping what I'll now be able to do is just blow and give you a ketone reading. So let's just let that count down. Here we go. It's only a three second sample as opposed to other meters that we have used which are 10 second sample readings. And there you'll see this meter giving a reading of 0 0.00. It's a little difficult to, I don't know whether that's picking up particularly well on this video, uh, but it's a decimal place in the middle and then 0 0.0 in terms of your, your current ketone level. I'm going to repeat that now so we can just see how it goes. 15 second countdown again. We'll do a series of three. I'm not ketotic at the moment, so these should all come back as 0 0.0. Wait for it to count down. Processing. 0, 0.0 again. 
So we'll wait for this to count down, sorry, to time out, and then we'll do third and final reading on a zero breath keto. And then what we're going to do in a second video is when we are ketotic, do a series of three with this meter and compare it to cheaper meters that we have in stock and see what comparable readings we're getting with this. So counting down for 15 seconds. Final reading now. There we go, 0, 0.0. So at zero levels, pretty confident that this is giving an accurate indicator. What you won't get with this unit or any breath ketone meter is an absolute accurate indication of what the blood ketone level is at any one time. Reason being, these meters aren't actually reading or measuring ketones. What they're using to give you an indicator of the ketone level is the acetone level in breath. Now, that means that these meters, whichever brand you go for, are going to be conditionally affected by other causes of acetone in the breath. Okay, so acetone is a good indicator of ketosis, but not an absolute or specific indicator of ketosis. And that's what users of these meters need to understand. If you drink alcohol or have mouthwash or anything else, you will get a false positive indicator with any of these breath meters. And that's the same whatever brand you go for. We're going to run this one alongside cheaper unit in a while so you can get some indication. Our first indicators are that... This one is no less specific, but no more specific than other branded meters on the market. And that it's just as variable in the readings that you get when you're actually in ketosis. And a lot hinges around your sampling technique and your breath sample that you give in terms of whether you've just taken a deep breath in or not. The three second sample with this machine may be an issue for some people we feel probably that a longer breath sample may have actually increased the specificity of this machine if it was set to do so. What is in its favour is the, the design. It's beautifully manufactured and designed, looks really nice. You do have the ability to recharge this, but equally the manufacturer's advice on this is that the sensor in it is going to have to be replaced or changed after only 300 tests, which means a further on cost for you each time you run up to 300. And sooner or later, you'll get an ERR reading on this to indicate that you have to buy a new sensor. We'll look into the charge of those, but when you've paid £179 for this meter, that is quite an additional charge to keep its accuracy. And the cost of a new sensor may well be in excess of some of the cheaper breath keto meters that you could have purchased without the on cost of buying this up front. So we're going to use this over a period of time and give you an, uh, an honest opinion in terms of whether we think this is offering better value for money for the additional money that you're having to find up front to buy it. So we'll report back later in subsequent videos.